Hello everyone, Julia Simas here for the Cosmic Intelligence Agency. I'm just checking that we are going on live on um, Facebook and we have, fantastic. Um, I am here today with Maurice Fernandez, all the way in Sedona. Hello, Maurice. Hey, everyone. Greetings. Uh, yes, we have come together to do this live um, update. Um to tell you more about our amazing retreat coming up um, February 8th to the 11th uh, in Victoria, Australia at a place called Venus Bay. And um, our special guest this time is going to be Maurice Fernandez, who will be travelling a bit around Australia and joining us for the retreat. So that's exciting, Maurice. We're really looking forward to having you as our, you know, guest presenter, let's say. Absolutely. And, you know, I am looking forward to it. It is the new year of the dragon and our program is tailored um, with understanding these larger cycles. So we'll go through the different lectures, but the great thing about this is that it's both amazing knowledge and community. Yes. We will celebrate the new year of the dragon with mandalas, you know, with ceremony, with a didgeridoo, um, really bring ancestral knowledge and the different cultures of astrology. So post-COVID, right, many people are struggling with um, not really connecting with their tribe. And we're yeah. getting all used to being online. You know, it's convenient to be online. Uh, it's cheaper to be online. But there's something missing when, you know, that we can find when we really bring that synergy together. And it's it's Aquarius season in February. <laughs> Aquarius season, of course, the new year of the dragon begins with the new moon in um, Aquarius. So um, I just can't remember what degree exactly, <laughs> um, early degrees of Aquarius. And um, it's the year of the wood dragon. So um, the wood the wood in Chinese astrology relates to, I'm not professing to be an expert in Chinese astrology, but I'm very fascinated by it because I am a wood dragon. So I oh, am really? 60, yes just after the retreat. So I will be looking into it with a special um, <laughs> initiative, let's say. Um, so, of course, your year, um, let's say Wood Dragon, if you are born in 64, only happens once again in your lifetime unless you unless you live to 120. So it only happens every five 12-year cycles, which is 60. So in Chinese astrology, the first element is fire, then we have wood, then we have metal, then we have water. Sorry, we have fire, earth, metal, water, wood, fire, and, and continues, right? So water the is the one, last one. Sorry? Water is the last one. Or wood is the last one. Because the fire is like, you know, the beginning, it's a, at the top of the triangle, mm. right? Anyway, I mean, there's many ways to look at it, really. So, um, so from wood, you know, you can make fire with wood, and so every element that precedes an element is a is a um, is an element that is needed to produce the next element, in a sense. And then there's a destructive element. But anyway, I I actually did Chinese astrology before I studied Western astrology. I was very much into the twelve signs, and you know, anyway. Um, but um, and learn more about their flying stars and feng shui and and so and so. So it is part of my system, let's say, mm. and it would be nice to get back to it somehow. Um, but the wood element is like the air element, which actually expands energy and moves and circulates. You know, as we think about you know the air and the oxygen needed from plants growing to circulate the right sort of let's say healthy environments. Um, so anyway, we're going to look into that. Um, the whole, let's just go through the program a little bit. It starts on the 8th of February, a Thursday evening or afternoon. You want to share um, the website? 
Uh, no, I'll go through that in a minute. This let, we'll, we'll do the photos in a sec. I just want to take us through a brief, brief um, trip through the program. Um, again, the the place you know we, we begin with um, a, a ceremony always with a sound healing. Um, a sound healing that reverberates through your system and cleans you out, ready for a three-day event. Um, and before going to bed, I will take you through looking at the night sky, which will be incredible down there. It's summertime in Australia, um, and we will familiarise ourselves with what will be happening in the skies as we are there. Um, and then we go through a program which has, like Maurice was saying, has been designed to, let's say, invoke the dragon spirit um and you know the dragon spirit you know they're mythic mythological creatures they are elemental creatures and in our own astrology charts there are so many things that are represented by the dragons like the nodal axis um eclipse cycles and um, we're going to look into all of that and the kind of the spirit of the dragon for your year um, as well as looking at things like the part of fortune and the part of spirit. Now, many people do not do know about the part of fortune in astrology. It's a combination of your sun, your ascendant, and your moon. Now, that's the big three that we call in astrology. And so the part of fortune is a combination of those things. And the part of spirit is kind of the reverse combination of those things. So if you think about your sun, your moon, and your ascendant and the way that you go through life, the part of fortune represents what you're being kind of gifted in this lifetime, you know, karmically or whichever way you want to do it. This is this is your lot, as you say, right? But then the part of spirit is what you do with your lot, right? So this is what we're going to focus in my sort of content for that whole weekend that goes from one morning to another morning. We are doing um, a dragon spirit walk, a meditation where you're really going to connect to the symbols you find in your chart that, that represent the dragon um, or the dragon spirit. And we're going to create a mandala based around that. And we are going to also do an art afternoon where you can either draw, paint, sing, whatever you like um, in regard to the dragon spirit that you're connecting to. Um, and now, Maurice, your program or part of the program is, you know, I was just reviewing it again this morning. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. I, I do, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say well, things. Go. You know, as we get into the Year of the Dragon ceremoniously, this happens to align with Pluto moving into Aquarius with Mars kind of together, Mars Pluto sequence into Aquarius. And we obviously know that we are in this overlapping transition between the ages, from the Piscean age to the Aquarius age. And, you know, many people say, you know, when is the Aquarius age starting? To me, it's not a specific date. It's it's one fades out, the other one fades in. And we already see that happening so I am going to really highlight what the age of Aquarius may really be about because mm -hmm. yeah, AI and, you know, genetic engineering is one thing, but it's a much deeper spiritual transition um, yeah. that will, will take us on this journey through civilization, through the ancient times how we actually progress from age to age to get to this mm -hmm. point now. Fantastic. And then, you know, along with that, and, you know, tapping into the Pluto in Aquarius energy as well, we're going to also examine this, you know, probably the most important alignment of this decade, which is the Saturn Neptune coming together at zero Aries in 2025, 2026, yeah. which will be, you know, a game changer in personal global time. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we are here. Uh, conjunction for sure, isn't it? The, I mean, it's zero Aries, right? Yeah. It's the first degree of the Zodiac and it's a, 
it's this cycle that has taken down empires, right? Yeah. The Soviet Union and the Ottoman Empire back in the day. So it's really a big deal. And, yeah. you know, we we're going to learn all that on in, in <laughs> Venus Bay. So. <laughs> yes. Well, I was looking at that, you know, Saturn Neptune symbolism and, you know, Saturn's the reality and, and Neptune's the inspiration. And it goes so well with what I will be taking everyone through as well with the drag, the manifesting sort of part of fortune and the, the spirit, right? So we, we're manifesting spirit on this beautiful retreat. Um, and look, the thing is, we are getting booked out, but we still have a few places we want to, we want to, let's say, fill up right like you want to do these things with um let's say the full um i'm going to just share my screen now um i the mean the important text. thing is sorry to interrupt is that that's all right we have goodies we have goodies <laughs> stay <laughs> tuned you know yes, yes, yes. um this is part of why we're coming together is that we really want to fill this up now and we're encouraging you to, to make that leap, that commitment, that's gonna help us to strategize this better, but it's also gonna help you because you're gonna get all these perks. Yes, okay, so wait, you gotta wait to, to hear what they are. But, um, and thanks of course to all the people that have already signed up to be with us. Um, it's gonna be amazing, they're always great. And I'm just so excited to actually be doing let's say something in summer we've always usually had now i can't why is my screen not uh, screen. sorry it's not share it's not oh goodness me it's stuck what am i gonna do <laughs> what bizarre oh hang on i need that arrow oh here we go all right so, yes, so, again, three-day retreat, starting on a Thursday night, ending on a Sunday afternoon. Um, we do have um, a pickup happening in Melbourne CBD at a particular time. So if you need a pickup from coming from interstate, that is happening as well. Um, we might have to have two cars now. We have one already full. Um, anyway, but if that is the case, we need to know um, that. And as you can see, the, so this is the Melbourne city that we are getting out of the city and down to Venus Bay. It's about a two and two hour, 20 minute drive, depending on where you're coming from. And just to show that there really is a place called Venus Bay, right? Um, and this is the, the peninsula that it's on. So it's really quite isolated. There's, um, of course, the plate, the houses that we have arranged to be in are only one kilometre apart. Um, and look over what we call Anderson's Inlet, whereas the beach is in the front and um, a short drive or a, you know, one to two kilometre walk, depending which, which way you go. Um, and we have assigned beach time, like, and it looks like a like the head of a dragon. Oh, true! Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. There we go. And we're going to be staying right in its eyes, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, uh, and for those that you know don't know the Victorian coastline at all, not far from there is a, an amazing place called Wilson's Promontory. Um, the most southern point of Australia and again being summer that's the best sort of time of year to come and weather and for anyone wanting to go let's say do a further trip that would be something I'd recommend. This is our beautiful deck where we'll be doing yoga every morning and sound healing um, uh, and night sky watch at night because it's just you know super super fabulous deck that's what made me fall in love with the place in a way um and the house called you know that's called raven's nest we have another house secured because a lot of people want their own queen rooms so um anyway it's only a kilometer away so it, again you can see through you can see through to the inlet there um so lots of great activities there this is the yurt that is there as well so for any inclement weather or more serious kind of work that we need to do um, we have the space available here um, for some of the sessions that we need to show slides or whatever we will be in there 
Um, and then I love this when I saw the number 816. Um, what's 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 it opposite? I mean, sorry, saying that backwards, 618. Maurice, what's 618 represent? Mm. Or 0. 0.618. 0. 0.618. Yeah, okay. Is the Fibonacci number. Okay. And um, so it's got the magic of Venus. The Venus cycle is all part of the Fibonacci sacred geometry. Um, 0.618 um, golden ratio. So here we are. It's even though it's backwards, we are in the <laughs> we are in a magical spot. And of course, the people that own the place are very much into the the natural environment and the caring of it, um, and the natural um, let's say indigenous tribes that used to be there, which were it's an overlap of 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 tribes actually called the Bunurong people and the Gunai people. Now the Gunai people stretches a lot further into the east, and it's a really big area. Um, but we will be inviting the Bunurong people to come and do the ceremony for us. Um, that will happen on the new moon day. So it's going to be gorgeous. And then there's, you know, again, we're going to do spirit walks and meditation walk where you can go and find your own little spot. And they've got some really cute um, and quaint um, things sort of set up on the property as well. That, you know, we'll leave as a surprise. This is the beautiful beach looking one way um, and then the beach looking the other way towards Winslow's Promontory. It's a pretty wild beach, but there are what we call patrolled beaches um, on, on, on these sites, so which I'd recommend for swimming. Um, this is the inlet, which is very tidal. You can work, walk kind of really far out into it at, at low tide and then at high tide it really kind of disappears. The beautiful animals, lots of birds um, at Raven's Nest. That's what the trees are kind of all set up for. These are little finches, but um, lots of ravens, of course. Um, and that's a wombat. And that's a wombat. <clears throat> um, I saw him near the beach when I was there last time. So they can be scurrying around either early mornings or kind of evening at sunset time. They're usually the times that you, you can find them. And uh, Susan, there's just a picture of her on the left. She will be, as well as Maurice, doing the yoga, but also sort of there for healings and all that kind of thing and sound therapy. Um, anyway, and this is the beautiful Deckard sunrise, I think, that she was doing. And then look at this. Now, this is Venus Bay um, in, um, in the area. It's not the streets that we're kind of staying on because we're a bit, out of town in a sense our houses are a bit out of town because they're on big properties um jupiter mercury orion jupiter street and this is whole area that is all of um so you can get a bit of a fun trip walking around those streets if you want <laughs> or meditation walks through Neptune. that's hilarious isn't it amazing um so well that's Okay. We have a we have a whole group of us coming uh, from the northern hemisphere. Yes. I'm going to be bringing some fellow astrologers who are going to travel with me across Australia, and so we are, of course, super excited to explore more of the southern sky. Yes, and see Orion, you know, with Sirius actually going up rather than down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. And so yeah, it's it is going to be a great meeting of minds with people coming from different influences, different parts of the world and uh and celebrating together. And and you know, there's a celebration also bringing the Asian astrology and bringing Western astrology and the North and the South. So we are holding that flame for these new cycles. Yes. Yes. And it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. Um, and I just want to just tell us about a few of more of the people. Lisa Jones will also be joining us. Um, new agent 63 that has uh, run the Stephen Forest and now Maurice Fernandez kind of, um, what do you call it? Immersions up in um, New South Shelby. Wales. Yeah, Shelby. So she'll be joining us to do um, something on the uh, Australian bush medicine and also, you know, by using some of the plants that are in the area as well. Um, and Deborah James, Agent 29, who has now for the last oh, 
five or four retreats has been our resident art therapist <laughs> um, who who will come for an afternoon to um, to help us, you know, paint or draw or design something that is going to represent our dragon spirit. Um, anyway, more info on that later. And Marisa, I wanted to show you this. This is now Venus Bay on the other side. And here I am in a cove that has ancient dinosaur relics there as well. So anyway, for someone who wanted to go and explore, it's probably about 30 minutes around the coast to this spot. But anyway, an amazing coastline. Yeah, so Black Rock's dinosaur dreaming fossil site is there. Mm. I is that on the open ocean side of the yes well side? i mean we are on the open ocean you see venus bay is on the other side there now like you can see mm -hmm. that land so it's a huge mm -hmm. land, right see. and so this is on the other side so we are in this amazing sort of dreamland space um i went there unfortunately and that was high tide so i couldn't walk on the you know on that sort of um spot but we'll work that out so that's just some um, event we can do. And before I stop sharing my screen and telling us about the giveaways, because Maurice, I know you want to share your screen. If you haven't seen our Amazing Time Lords issue, it's just new out. It's free. It's on our website. Hook in and have a read. Get your own copy full of really great info. Um, and then coming up this Friday, Australian time, Thursday night, USA, USA time, this is now really interesting, and I'm glad I'm doing this before the retreat, Maurice, because we are going to be talking about, you know, dragon um, symbolism and the nodal axis, again, very much looked at as the north node being, you know, this is future orientation, this is where you should be heading. But it is quite a different story if we really do it technically from the southern hemisphere and this is what we're going to be looking at on friday so please join us there i'll put that in the link with these amazing astrologers gemini brett and luis uh, ribeiro who do amazing graphics that help explain all of this um so i urge you to hook in and join us for that um and so let me get out of this now so anyway that's that's my share of the thing. Now, Maurice, what we have left for the people to join us is a few bunk share rooms. So the bunk share rooms are, of course, a um, significantly lower price because you're sharing with three or four other people. Um, we've got we've got a few of those beds left, and we've got two queen beds left as well. Um, that means you have your own room, pretty much. Okay um or one glamping tent <laughs> so again we've only got those spots left um but in order if you are the first one to book in after seeing this i am going to gift a um cia membership and then for anyone that books in in november is that what we said maurice for anyone that books in in november i'm also going to gift you a cia t-shirt all right, and there's a few different colors you can choose from, but you have to, you know, you'll get them at the event. Oh, the green is coming out all, all funny here, but anyway, um, because of my green screen, oh, this one's <laughs> oh, this one's really it's a psychedelic. Oh, this one's really magical, yeah, because it's green. All right, oh, that's good. Psychedelic shirt, yeah, all right. So, um, so for anyone that books in for that, and then Maurice has got some goodies to give away as well, all right? Yeah, I mean, once again, it's a celebration of astrology. It's great energy and calm. So what we're offering is also for anyone who signs up, the, a, a talk that I gave on Jupiter, Uranus conjunction. That conjunction is coming up. I mean, they're both Jupiter and, and Uranus are already in Taurus, but they're going to actually meet at 21 Taurus in May 2024. So this is really relevant for the times. Yes. So this is about a two, two and a half hour presentation on the Jupiter Uranus. So that's again, for those of you signing up in November. Another thing I'm offering for the first three signups who um again follow this uh, video 
I'm going to share my screen. You're going to get a coupon for, um, let me see how, a, a 250 US dollar credit. Wow, cool. Where you can purchase material on my website. So you, you want to learn a workshop on Saturn, on Jupiter, on Chiron, on uh you know, electional astrology, astronomy, there's tons of material. The, how you find it, you go to my website, Astrology Studies, and then you go by topic. And you get to this page where you can choose from a library. Additionally, you know, part of that coupon can also serve you to join a workshop that I'm presenting on November 19 on the death chart and mm. this is not about finding out when you're going to die <laughs> it's about the chart of when someone is transitioning and how that informs us of where the soul is at and what it has accomplished in this life so it's it's a fascinating study on reincarnation on future lives and it is also giving us a lot of information on what happens before we die, you know, not just at the moment of death. Right. So that's all happening on a November 19. And that $250 coupon can be used for that. It's a webinar. So it doesn't matter where you are. Well, wow, that's very generous, Maurice. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. And so, yeah. Cool. First three, hurry okay. up. First three, or the membership, or a T-shirt. I mean, there's just so many great prizes. Um, I will write. I will put all the links in the video down below here. Um, so pretty much book in. If you've got any questions, get in touch. Um, with myself or well, with myself, I'm the the chief organizer. Maurice is busy. <laughs> um, and we'll take it from there. I'm really looking forward to um the Dragon Spirit Retreat. And um, I hope, you know, more of you join us. Again, we, we're kind of getting there, but we really want to fill it up because it well, just makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. I think that we need to highlight the fact that there are six more spots open. That It's yeah, not I like infinite. It's, right. So, we, yeah, you know, the, the space the doesn't time. allow, you yeah. know, the space has a limitation. So, you know, we, we pretty much have, we're doing this for the next six people um yeah so That's don't right. wait you know don't take it, it could be gone really, like yeah, probably we will actually but um having said that yeah the, the space we can only take there's four of us already we've got two chefs and we can only have 30 people on the property so um you know when we're all together and for catering as well so um just logistic wise so do get in and there are there are some camping spots as well available so that is, you know, if you're a camper, if you're a local, if you want to take the drive down here, again, beautiful summer. The camping area is gorgeous. Have a look at more on the um, the website with the photos or relook at this. And we really hope to um, see some of you come and join us. So, Maurice, we will be in touch. Um, thank you for your amazing work and um, coming down all the way to Australia for this special event. We look forward to it. <laughs> Absolutely. We've worked together in the past and it's a great complementary yeah. and um, no, it's gonna great be very, fusion. Yeah. And look, the thing that, you know, having done many retreats and of course you have as well or facilitated, gone through, is the CIA retreats have a very special quality um, and a very special understanding between the group that arrives we see people arrive maybe kind of stressed out or unsure of, you know, how they fit in the group. By the end, we have them laughing, everyone's best friends, and, you know, it's just a joy to see. Um, but it's also that sort of, you know, coming into a retreat sort of um, space and area and with amazing people um, and guides and, you know, teachers and what have you, you know, moving through something that so you leave with something that really sort of just fills you up with some, you know, with a renewed spirit and that's what it's all about. So um, 
looking forward to seeing you all kind of hooking in and we will see you again soon. Thanks, Maurice. Bye, everyone. Many blessings.